Making reference to the 2014 Global Status Report, Senior Medical Officer Sonia Nixon, speaking at a launch of the Cooperative Bank Family Walk, says substance abuse among populations remains a challenge for the Ministry of Health. The bank's decision to donate proceeds from the war over the next five years, specifically to efforts to re-establish and sustain Carlton House services, coincides with a time when Grenada's challenges with alcohol and substance misuse have attained crisis proportions. In 2014, the Global Status Report on Alcohol revealed that Grenada holds the unenviable position of having the highest rate per capita of early alcohol consumptions in the, America, in the Americas. Um, that is 12.5 liters of pure alcohol per person. It's the re-establishment of the Carlton home. She also encouraged other cooperative entities to come on board. But you know, this is no simple feat and we'd like to encourage other corporate citizens to join in this effort initiated by the Cooperative Bank and contribute towards the vision of the ministry to enhance the quality of life, improve the health status of individuals, families and communities, and maintain a state of optimum wellness for the people of Grenada, Kariakou and Piti Martinique. Through this alliance, we can guarantee increased awareness of the problem of substance misuse. To help rebuild the Carlton home, the bank is hoping to raise half a million dollars through its annual Pump It Up Health Walk over the next five years. Akisha Felix for GBN News.